Hello, just want to do a quick prayer right quick for the Lord to release his angel army over us to fight on our behalf and um and all our endeavors and whatever it is that we are trying to do. I pray your day is blessed and highly favored. And whatever it is you're going through, just know God got you. He loves you. And he will help you through each and every situation that you are in. And Father God, your word declares that angels intervene in the lives of human beings. I believe that angels are released by positive confessions and demonic stuff be released by negative confessions. And Father God, I thank you for the host of heavens that are operating on our behalf, Father God. Make us sensitive to the existence and the presence of your angelic beings, Father God. There are more angels working for us than there are demons working against us, Father God. One third of angels fell with Lucifer. This means that two-thirds of the angels in heaven are working on our behalf. And Father, I thank you for opening our eyes to see the angelic host and chariots of fire circling our situations and fighting on our behalf in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I release the angels of prosperity on our behalf according to Genesis 24 and 40. Because I walk before you, Lord, the angel of the Lord. The, the angels of the Lord will prosper my way. And I thank you for your angelic intervention in my dream realm, Father God, in my natural state, Father God. Let the same anointing that was on Jacob be unto us to dream dreams of angels. And Father God, I thank you for the spirit of ladder of the Lord that comes from heaven to earth. The angels are taking away what I do not need and bring it to me. Everything I I do need and we are living under an open heaven that is open to angelic intervention and I command the angels that take vengeance on the ungodly to fight battles on our behalf and I just thank you Father God and our battles are not by power and might but by the spirit of the most high God and the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds as I decree, as we decree and declare the word and the will of the Lord our God. Angels will be released to minister the vengeance of the Lord. I call the captain of the host to go before us in battle with his sword drawn against all that would try to harm us in the natural realm and the physical realm as in Joshua 5, 13 and 14. And Father Father God, I thank you, Father God, for the angels of the Lord that will stand in our in the way if the way that will stand in our way if the way we are traveling does not please you just as the sword was drawn against Balaam let the sword of the Lord keep us from displeasing you father God and I thank you for the angels of the Lord that's being released to give us peace to give us peace in the middle of those difficult situations the peace of the Lord will still fall upon us the peace of the Lord will still be in our midst and to increase our faith just as the angels met Gideon when he was hiding from the Midianites to speak words of encouragement so shall angels be released to increase our faith in you Lord to increase our faith in everything that you are trying to do to us through us and for us Father God and I thank you for our uh, Lord Jesus that you hear my prayers. I thank you for hearing our prayers and I thank you for your angels that excel in strength, Father God. Let your angels go before us, Father God. Let your angels surround us with a wall of fire around us like in Zechariah 2 and 5, Father God. And I thank you, Jesus, and your angels for your responses to our prayers as you command them, Father God, and as you do your bidding with us, Father God, as in Psalms 103 and 20. Blessed be your 
your name, Lord, and your angels do your pleasure. And I thank you, Father God, for your angels that watch over us as in Daniel 4 and 13 and 14. And I thank you for the angels you have commanded to protect me, Father God. I thank you for the angels that you have commanded to protect all your people, Father God, from the fiery darts and arrows and the doubts and denials and deception of the of the wicked one, Father God. Thank you for your precious, your precious spirit of the Holy Ghost that keep us protected from everything that is not of you, Father God. And I just pray you share every lion's mouth, share every lion's mouth that has been set our way to try to devour us, Father God, as in Daniel, Daniel 6 and 22. And Lord, I thank you. I thank you in advance, Father God. I thank you, Father God. Lord, I thank you for the angels that are sent to answer our prayers, as in Daniel 9, 21 and 23. Minister peace and encourage to, encouragement to us when we are feeling down down and down beaten and with and, and when we are feeling down and um beaten down father god as in daniel 10 and 12 acts 27 23 and 25 the ones that remind god's people of his love as in daniel 10 and 10 the one that comes and deliver warnings as in matthew 2 and 13 the ones that come and reap the end time harvest as in matthew 13 and 39 the one that comes to minister to the children Children, the children of the Lord my God as in Matthew 18 and 10 and the one that comes to inform God's believers as in Luke 1 13 through 20 the ones that come to rejoice when your souls are saved Father God as in Luke 15 and 10 the one that comes to strengthen the believers Father God the ones that come and give us strength Father God the ones you send to give us strength as in Luke 22 and 43 and I just thank you for your angelic protection. We thank you for your Holy Ghost, Father God. We thank you for everything that you have done for us, Father God. And we thank you for everything that you are going to do for us, Father God. We thank you for your covering. We thank you for your hedge. We thank you for the fire. We thank you for the glory, Father God. We just thank you, Lord. We love you. We honor you, Father God. We're long life and satisfied. And we will give you satis long life and we will give you satisfaction to the salvation that you have gave us i pray that we please you father god in every way lord jesus i pray we please you god in every walking and being of our life in jesus name i pray amen 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 and i'm sorry y'all i stumbled i'm in my car and i had some distractions in my face it's all good God get the point. We love him and he love us. And I love you. And I pray everybody's day is blessed and holy. And I just pray if the enemy got any darkness set up in the way of your path, that the angels of the Lord my God go and push it out the way so you will have a blessed, peaceful, prosperous day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen.